question I often get is around newsletters and what do I have in it? What should I, what should I write? Uh, the answer is there's a good little formula for newsletters, which I've been using for, for years, and it's 40, 40, 20. So you can see, I'm in the Apple store at the moment here in uh, Chicago, and down there they're doing a little presentation uh, with different people about photography, right? So it's related to the to their product, it's iPhone, but they're actually talking about the photos themselves. And so the formula for a good newsletter is 40, 40, 20. So that's 40% directly relevant stuff, 40% semi-relevant stuff. So this, you know, doing a thing on photography from the iPhone is not really about the iPhone, I suppose. It, you could say it's directly related, but you could say it's sort of semi-related. And then 20% completely non-relevant. So fun stuff, entertaining stuff, cartoons, puzzles, um, funny little stories that have nothing to do with your profession or your technical expertise. But I, I would almost put the photography lessons down there as kind of semi-related to the phone because um, they're really not talking about the phone. Uh, they're using the phone, but it's semi-related. So 40, 40, 20, really good formula for doing newsletters. Newsletters are a great thing to do. They are a great way to stay in touch with your um, your important network, your referral, your inner circle, your dirty 30, um, and, and they're kind of old fashioned now, so they're kind of unique. One of, the, one of the smartest things I had a guy do was write them, hand write the newsletters, and then photocopy them. Really catchy, everyone read every single word of a handwritten letter. So forget the word newsletter, just uh, a monthly letter will be better even than a newsletter in some cases, particularly if it's personal, and it's handwritten, you can always photocopy it. So some thoughts around the newsletter, but but like massively, way more important than probably I've explained to do that, particularly if you've got a good list of people.